Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to make a two types of bread, and the first type I'm going to make is a Vogel type bread, which is a that is a New Zealand bread that oh, I absolutely love, and this is the uh, a recipe I got off the New Zealand Nutrition Foundation site website. Um, really simple. Um, the only problem is that you have to set it aside. Once you've mixed all the ingredients, you have to set it aside for 24 hours. So I thought I'd do it this morning, start this bread off, and then I will make a white bread, a loaf bread, after this one. So here we've got two cups of wholemeal flour, two cups of plain flour, half a cup of oats. After I made this recipe, I would put in ha um, half a cup of pumpkin seeds and half a cup of sunflower seeds, and I would use one and a half teaspoons of salt. Yeah, so ignore what you can see me putting into the bowl. And a teaspoon of yeast. I use granule yeast. Okay, so into that we're going to put, just give it a mix, into that we're going to put a about 600 mils of warm water into this mix. where the flour here in Australia is so different to the flour back home so it looks like I need a bit more than 600 mils of okay that looks about the right texture so what we're going to do now is just cover it and leave it for 24 hours Okay, so for this next recipe, um, you'll need two and a quarter cups of plain flour. I'm using powdered milk uh, in with the water. The water uh, is one cup of water, and I think I used half a cup of milk powder. To that, you add the sugar, uh, two tablespoons of sugar or two tablespoons of honey, Two tablespoons of. Did you know that was in two tablespoons? Hang on a sec. Yeah, it is. Two tablespoons of cooking oil. I'm losing my marbles. One tablespoon of yeast and give that a quick stir. Okay, I'm not going to add the salt. I'm going to add the salt directly into the flour. This apparently it kills the yeast, stops the yeast from growing. Add your flour to the bowl. So 
So I'm going to add the salt directly to the bowl, which is one and a half teaspoons. And then I'll add the yeast mix, the liquid mix. Okay, so we've got our flour. Our yeast has activated. Just slide this over to show you. And we'll pour that in. But uh, first I wanted to say, this is a new food processor that I got. What's the name of it? Advoin. And I got it through Kogan, a um, online shopping site. So this was only $109. And it's 900 watts. And this is the first time I'm using it. Um, yeah, all my years, this is, <laughs> I've actually never owned one of these um, food processors, and I think the only time I used it was when I was in school. So, anyway, we will soldier on. So, I'm going to pour in the yeast mix. Here we go. Yeast, milk, oil, and sugar. This time I'm going to add probably about 50 grams of butter into my mix. We keep this machine, isn't it? 10 minutes um, that the machine has been working. I'm just going to move this over. Put a bit of flour on the board. into a bowl and then put it into back into the bowl and leave it to rise for a couple of hours cover it and yeah leave it for two hours So we can leave it to rise. It's ready to go. Leave it to rise. I'm going to cover it with some ping pong. dough doesn't that it doesn't look right. It's my alarm telling me to do my bread dough to get my bread dough out. Okay, so Pinch 
punch the ends. Okay, so yeah, for me it doesn't feel feel right. But Okay, so I'm going to leave them here for another hour, hour and a half, leave it to rise again, and then we will bake it off and see how it turns out. And I can't find my... What do you call it? Oh, you know what I mean, because I'm using this spatula. To put some egg over the top of my bread. And then I'll put it in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. 180 degrees. Okay, just pulled out the bread, the loaf. Okay, I'm just gonna let it cool down. It's not even, yeah, sure how the spread's gonna, you know, how it's turned out. Because to me, it feels heavy. Well, no, it could be my flour. I don't know, but I bet it's gonna taste good. Okay, so I want to see how the spread turned out. It's still hot, but. That's me all over. Okay. It's not bad. But <laughs> it's a real of me, I should have waited. Because it's so hot, it's probably going to be doughy now. But yeah, that's my bread. That's one of the loaves. Um, I've been wanting some French toast. And one of my most favourite recipes is from Bigger Boulder Baking. She, yeah, her recipe is just really awesome. Okay, so I've actually, I'm using this whole loaf, but usually you use four slices of bread, you butter each side, and we all know how I love my butter, into the pan, so into the jug you're going to want two egg yolks, Oh, these eggs seem to be... Oh, three, three whole eggs into the bowl. My eggs and egg in here seems to be a bit frozen, it doesn't want to move. So... So three whole eggs and two egg yolks. Maybe it's just this. Oh no. 
into the bowl. Put that aside. As you can see, I've got one bread left over because I couldn't fit it into my dish. So I'm going to have a toast with that. Uh, half a cup of cream. I will use the lot because there's nothing left, but only a little bit left in it. Three tablespoons of sugar. I'm going to put two teaspoon of vanilla. And a teaspoon of cinnamon. Give that a quick twist. So you're going to pull this over, this mix over your bread. And you're going to leave it as long as you can. So it's really good if you can make this mix, you know, like the night before. The longer, the better. So I'm going to pour this over my bread. And probably after a couple of hours, I'll put my timer on. I am going to turn it over. Turn the bread over and then let it continue to soak up the custard. Just lifting the bread so that some of the custard seeps underneath. Helps to soak into the bread. Oopsie. Okay, it's in the fridge overnight. And we'll make our French toast in the morning.
cat's been 24 hours. So here's the mix. And you just pour it straight into the tin. I actually lined two tins because this looked like it was a bit too much for one tin. I think it's a bit too much for one thing, so push the mitts to the sides of your pan the in the corners, into the corners, and you're going to bake this on 100 for about 40 minutes. Okay, dokie. So we're going to bake them on 200 degrees uh, for 40 minutes. So I've cut some more pieces of this Vogelite bread that I made today. Um, I sort of thought, okay, um, I, I believe it needs sugar, so the next time I make it I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of sugar. I also think it needs more seeds, so I would add maybe three quarters of a cup of mixed seeds, pumpkin and sunflower seeds. But it still tastes yum, but I think it just needs, um, I don't like the taste of uh, yeast, you know, the flavouring of, of the yeast in my bread, and for some reason it 